Hello, dear participants uh, who are joining us from uh, in Facebook and Zoom. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, Today, uh, we welcome everyone to the next series of English Without Borders webinar. Uh, today, we are happy to host a very young and enthusiastic English teacher, Thuyr Zoda Saadi. He is an Access Program English teacher at American Space Kulov. He graduated from uh, Kulov State University in 2018 and worked as a specialist uh, of Career Development Center and Innovation. Currently, uh, Saadi, uh, Saadi works at American Space Kulov as a social media marketing assistant. He also coordinates the American Space Kulov Debate Club for three years, and uh, he has organized a lot of debate tournaments and other events in American Space Kulov. Uh, today, uh, Saadi will be presenting on uh, how to use debates in the classroom. So if you come across any questions that you want to address to our today's speakers, please write your uh, question in the chat box and we will uh, pass them to Saadi after he has uh, finished his presentation. Uh, Thank you. And uh, now, please, uh, Sadi, the uh, floor is yours. Thank you very much, Kulmoro. Uh, hello, dear teachers, uh, dear participants. I'm very glad uh, and I'm very excited to be here with you because uh, most of the time I was just a viewer, a participant of this kind of events and webinars. But today I have a chance to uh, share my knowledge, my experience with you, and it's an honor for me uh, to do so. <clears throat> So today, uh, I will share uh, with you how I use debate in the classroom and how uh, also you can uh, use debates in the classroom in order to help your students uh, to get more speaking activities and become more uh, confident uh, in their speaking. So debate is a strong tool uh, which we can use uh, as a speaking tool and uh, I'm using debates uh, almost for three years. Uh, just right away, I started teaching at Access. I started to use debates uh, because, uh, as uh, Gordon Ross said, I'm coordinating uh, American Space Globe Debate Club. And I have, uh, I thought that uh, if the others can use debate as a tool of speaking, so why students should not? my students are getting good practice with it and good knowledge with it. Uh, so uh, today uh, I want to share with you my presentation here. If you can see my screen, so let me know. Uh, is, it, uh, is it visible, classroom debate? Okay, good. Uh, so classroom debate, uh, uh, and uh, let me introduce myself one more time. So who am I? Uh, I'm a teacher. Uh, I work at Innovative Lyceum of Kolob Town. Uh, currently, I'm teaching at Access uh, Micro Scholarship Program at American Space Club. And uh, simultaneously, I'm running uh, my Zabunomus project online and teaching uh, others online through video lessons and live uh, lessons. Also, I'm a debater. I'm coordinating at American Space Club Debate Club. Uh, I organize uh, tournaments, finals, and <laughs> several cups. And also, uh, I do blogging, as I said. So I have a, a teaching blogs of Onomus, and I'm an SMM uh, assistant at American Space Club. So most of the time, I'm online, and I'm working online uh, using the presents. Today, uh, we will uh, be... <coughs> learning and I will be presenting uh, with you uh, the topic about the problem uh, that we have teachers uh, in my point of view that we have in our society. Uh, we will learn of what is a debate and how to start it. We'll learn about the topics that uh, suits our audience because the professional topics and the topics for the classroom debates are totally different. And then we will learn 
uh, three types of uh, debates, uh, formats of debates that we can use in the classroom, especially in the classroom. So they're not used in the professional debates, they're used just only in the classroom. And my first question is, uh, so uh, how many of you are already using debates? So I'm sure that uh, we already have uh, teachers that use debate because this is not new. Uh, but I have to find out, so who is using debate uh, nowadays in their sessions? If you use it, so use chat, uh, be active in the chat and let me know if you're using or not. So, uh, <clears throat> if you use debate uh, or uh, you heard about the debate, uh, you mostly know that uh debate is mostly speaking activity so uh we don't have uh long lectures there we don't have grammar lessons there the biggest thing that we have in debate is the vocabulary lessons and speaking so uh we mostly use the debate as the speaking tool uh and at the end of the session uh, i will be uh, answering two questions if you have them uh, during my presentation so uh, let's start then. So teaching is not easy. So the overview of the problem is that, uh, especially when you want to make your students speak, because the main goal of the, any language is to speak. Uh, but most of the time, our students can read, can write, but they can't speak because it's not about their knowledge. Mostly, it's it's about their uh, confidence. It's about their public speaking skills in front of the others. They are almost afraid to speak, to make mistakes and be shamed in front of the others. So, and uh, debates solve all this problem because uh, in debates, uh, <coughs> uh, global teachers come up uh, with the idea that debate uh, is a tool that uh, helps students to gain more courage to speak in front of the others. Uh, and so uh, what is debate? Uh, what is debate? It's a formal discussion between two sides, affirmative and negative, or some, uh, someone who is agree or disagree about one problem, one issue, or one topic, any topic that you choose as a teacher in debate terminology as a judge. Uh, and it's a game in time. So uh, uh, debate is uh, a game and Every teacher knows that the students and the peoples uh, in the classroom, they love to play games and it's engaging. They engage with their audience, they want to win. So this is why uh, in the game, the debaters compete with each other through the strengths of their words, their vocabularies. So their vocabularies that uh, we show that they already have, they already know, but they don't have the courage to, to take them out. And debate also is the rules and order. So debate has specific rules and order in order to make it fair for both sides. So in a uh, simple discussion, we see that those who has a louder voice, those who has uh, more confidence with themselves, they will speaking all the time. And the inactive students, they are almost uh they, they will remain uh inactive they will just listen so in discussion we can't uh, uh encourage our students uh, everyone to speak so in debate uh, on the other hand we can do so because every uh, every speaker every debater every student has the uh, equal chance to uh have a speech uh about the rules of the debate uh the debate as we said has a rules so uh, in order to make it fair for both sides both affirmative and both negative or agree side and disagree side so this is the first thing uh is that debate has a preparation time so when you give the students a topic which we will talk about uh the topics later when you give them the uh, topic you have uh, to give them the preparation time as a teacher. In professional debates, we have 15 minute preparation time. But in the classroom, you can give them five minutes or three minutes. 
uh, in, uh, it's, it depends on your time uh, in the classroom. And during the five minutes, they have to prepare a speech for one minute. So they have five minutes to prepare a one minute speech. So it's uh, totally easy and it's, uh, how to say, achievable. So students can do so. Uh, and the next thing is that uh, the other rule is order of the speeches. Every speaker has an order. So the first speaker stands up and say his um, arguments, then the opponent stays, then the opponents and the opponents. So everyone has the order. Every speaker has uh, their time and has their own <coughs> order when to speak. Also in debates, uh, you can ask questions as a speaker uh, to the other. But uh, the question is a little bit tricky here. So if the speaker, not the judge, not the teacher in our case, if the speaker who's speaking, he or she, if accepts the question, then the question will be told. If she or he does not accept it, the other participants can't ask questions. They, ju uh, they just can uh, stand up and raise their hand and stand, uh, stand in front of the speaker. If he or she accepts, they will ask. If uh, he or she not accepts, they can't ask. And uh, in debates, there should be at least one judge. In our case, we use ourselves, our teachers, to be the judge in the round. And the judges, uh, and the last rule is the time, the time of each speaker. Each speaker has one minute speech during the uh, classroom debates, they have to speak for one minute. Uh, from my experience, when I just started to use the debates in my classroom with uh, access uh, from 2017-2019, uh, the most active students performed 43 seconds speech. Uh, there was a second year of the access program, they, uh, they could spoke freely. They could uh, say their minds to anyone with either one. But in the debate, they could only perform a speech for 43 seconds. It was very, very hard for them. But later on, when they uh, joined our, our club, professional club, they could speak for seven minutes uh, stop less, nonstop. They could speak and speak for seven minutes right away. So the time is very important here. Uh, and you have to uh, have a, a stopwatch when the speaker starts. You have to turn it on and uh, look for the timer. So they can't uh, speak for one minute and 10 seconds. They can't speak for one minute and five seconds even. The most that they have is the one minute. They can speak less, but not more. So uh, uh, when we learned about the rules uh, as we had, uh, we have to know about how to start it. If, if you are totally new and if you want to uh, start a debate with your classroom, with your students, first thing is to provide a model for them. Later on in the chat, I will share with you uh, a link with a uh, video of the model so we can watch it and use it uh, just in the video. Uh, you have to provide a model and introduce debate to your students. Show them a short round, who plays, uh, who is who here, who is the judge, who the players, how many tables are there. So uh, the first session maybe, or the second session uh, from you will be the introduction. So uh, back uh, in my time, so uh, I had two uh, lessons to activities just for introduction of the debate. What is the debate? Students ask it a lot of questions. How can we perform it? Who is this judge? Uh, how can we do so? Or uh, other questions. So get uh, ready because the students will ask you these kind of questions. So you can uh, watch the video beforehand. This is a very easy video and explain it uh, as ABC. So provide the model first maybe one uh, lesson or two lesson, then uh, practice one-to-one -one debates. You can choose uh, the volunteers or the most active of the students that you have 
invite two of them and try to uh, use and practice debates for one-on-one. -on -one. So one of the, your students will be an affirmative side and the other one will be a negative side. So they perform a speech. So you will give them a topic. They perform a speech for uh, one minute or less, maybe 30 seconds. Then if there's other volunteers, you can invite them and uh, in front of the others, they will speak to each other. And uh, I understood that when the student uh, giving me my homework, they're mostly shy in front of the others. They will show me their uh, notebooks, they will show me their uh, uh, workbooks done but they were ashamed to speak, to uh, uh, say their mind, say their homework. But in the debates, those students were ashamed because uh, if, they, want, if uh, they wanted to win, they were not ashamed. They were using all their time, all one minute to speak, and they were so emotional. So here I got the point that this is what I need to provide with them. And uh, I started to use them more and more and more. And each class, almost every lesson, we did so. So we did it one on one uh, debates between two or three uh, of my students. So the second step uh, that you can use is uh, to practice one on one debates, the most active, and the others will be encouraged to play. Or you can choose your students randomly. So this is also option. Uh, and then uh, you can watch samples first. Uh, so uh, there is a tons of uh, sample uh, videos on YouTube, and I will share with you uh, one of the videos. What's the sample first? The sample that is uh, used two uh, teams or uh, one team in front of the uh, one team. So not a one on one debate, but a little bit uh, groups into teamwork. Then you can teach specific word list. So I also uh, will share with you the list. Uh, as we uh, play the debates, there's an affirmative, negative uh, questions, uh, point of information, other vocabulary, special vocabularies in the debate that they, that they have to know, like argumentation, rebuttal, uh, questions, and so on. Uh, then you have to come up with the topics. Uh, there are a lot of topics with the high school students, for our high school students. You can use them all, or you can uh, use the one who is more close to your students, who is very easy, which is very easy to use and to debate, to, say, to share their mind. And then you can start your first round. It takes a time, maybe uh, it takes you a week or two weeks to prepare your students for the debate. And then you can start the official round in the classroom. Uh, when you choose a topic, you come up with a topic, when you teach the specific word lists, uh, when your students and your, yourself uh, watch samples uh, and practice one-on-one -on -one debates. So if you have any questions so far, so you can ask uh, in the chat. Uh, and uh, how to run debate in the classroom. Uh, as I said before, choose the topic, come up with the topic. And then when you come up with a topic, you, you have to divide students. You have two options here. You can divide students randomly, uh, like just uh, the group A and the group B, or you can uh, give them colors, that, uh, a lot of uh, activities that you can uh, divide them into teams. So you can use any of them to divide your students into teams. Uh, it calls randomly. And the other um, uh, option is to divide them with their beliefs. So you will save the motion and says, who is agrees that cats are better uh, pets than dogs? So all of the dog lovers, will raise their hand and then you will speak who is for the cats who thinks that the cats are better so all the cat lovers will raise their hands then you will divide them with their beliefs with what they already believe that uh, this one or this one is true so uh, the second option is more 
uh, how to say emotional is more uh, engaging with the students. If you can divide them with their beliefs, it could be more interesting to listen to them. Uh, then you can decide the preparation time and uh, speech time. So uh, uh, looking for your time of the classroom, you can decide uh, the preparation time. It's uh, uh, almost between the five and 10 minutes. If the topic's a little bit harder, uh, you can give them five minutes to, speak, uh, to prepare. Or if it's easy, you can give them uh, five minutes, uh, 10 minutes and five minutes. Then the speech time. Uh, I, uh, uh, I suggest you to start with the 30 second speech. Or if your students are already the second year access or other uh, students, you can start uh, from one minute speech. And if you see that one minute is not enough, then you can start uh, to uh, rise the time, two minutes, three minutes. So the professional debate is uh, limited with a five minute speech. So you can go uh, to the five minute speech. So students do more if they know the deadline. So if they know that they uh, have to prepare inside the 10 minutes, they will focus on their team, uh, on their work and uh, engage so they can prepare well. Uh, then start their debate, uh, write, and you have to, as a judge and as a teacher, you have to have a clear note, so white paper, and write what your students is saying. The taking notes is very, very important as a judge. And after that, they uh, perform their speech. After that, the debate is over. You have to uh, invite each speaker uh, and give them the feedbacks individually. So uh, this is uh, very important to the debaters uh, to hear uh, their stances and their weaknesses uh, and in order to improve for the next time. So try to mention at least one point to level up your students. So uh, you can say that instead of saying these words and using these tenses or using these words, you can say this ones. So students will be uh, varied and will be take notes for themselves. Each time they will perform better and better and better. So this is uh, we using debate as a teaching tool. So we have to give them feedbacks, not so strong, but uh, they have to teach them uh, what is important for them, how they can grow better and better. So the, uh, we'll repeat, so choose the topic and divide the students into the classroom, decide the preparation time and the speech time and start, when they're starting, take notes and give feedbacks. Giving feedbacks is very crucial. Uh, so uh, moving on to the topics. So topics, as I said, are very important. Uh, if you divide your students into the, uh, in their beliefs, so you have to choose a topic with, uh, which is very close to them. Be careful while choosing topics with juniors and teens. They may be too difficult, that kills motivation to debate, or they can be too easy and they will not wish to debate in this one. So topics is very important here. Uh, and here we have three types of topics that uh, you can use uh, in the classroom. So the first is the opinions of value, your students belief, as we said before. Uh, so opinions value states that one thing is better than the other. For example, dogs are better pets than cats. So something is better than something. So this is a opinion of value. Maybe some of the students believe that they're not, but the others believe that they are. So this, you will play here with their beliefs. Or the second uh, type of the uh, motions and the topics of debate is the opinion of policy. So you will say that uh, this states that someone should do something. For example, uh, government should lower taxes or uh, high school students should be a uniform. Someone should do something. It doesn't matter if it's a government, it's a person, it's the old woman, it's the old uh, countries and so on. So someone should do something. So uh, opinion of the policy. And they, uh, of course, 
you will find the students who are agree and if you uh, so you will find the students who aren't agree and the third uh, option that we have here is the opinion of fact state that something is was will be true for example the earth is getting warmer or the situation with the COVID is getting harder or easier. So uh, this one is a little bit uh, difficult, maybe difficult for students, because in the facts, they have to know a lot of information. So when you choose, I suggest you uh, not use this uh, opinion of fact for the first sounds because the lack of information can ruin the the speech of your students. You can use the first two options and they are more easy to play. So the first one is the perfect for students who just starting the debate, just starting to say their mind because they will uh, debate with their beliefs, their, their own arguments. So uh, we have three options here, as I said, three types of topics. So opinion of value, something is better, something uh, opinions policy, someone should do something, and opinion of fact, uh, something will be true or is true. So, uh, uh, if you are already familiar with the debate here, uh, we can uh, play. Uh, I want uh, two or four volunteers to uh, play a short game a short debate here uh, with you uh, right in the room. Who can, uh, who is ready? <clears throat> so uh, is there someone who want to play, who want to try debate today? And then you can use it with your students. So this is very easy. You, uh, so chasing liberty. Yes, okay, we already have one. Uh, Nur Alisha and Ruzov, yep. So already we have the second one. We need two more people. Okay. Uh, okay, Sitoraka Simova. And the last one, who wants to be the winner of the today's practice debate? We have uh, three, so uh, if there is no other volunteers, we can uh, play with these three uh, volunteers here. Okay, good. So uh, <clears throat> the parachute game is uh, very easy to uh, play. Uh, I will, uh, I used it with my students at the first debate. So uh, I didn't use one-on-one -on -one debates. I used this one because it's very entertaining with the students and students will love it. So uh, imagine that uh, Chai Zing, uh, Sitora, and Nurali. So uh, imagine that we are all in a plane, which is falling down, and only one parachute left for three of you. Each of you have to convince the others, the audience, to give that one parachute to you. Uh, they have to, uh, so you have to answer to one question. Why? you deserve this parachute. So I will give you the roles. I will give you uh, the roles. Uh, uh, let me write you in the chat. Uh, yeah, so I will give you the roles uh, in the uh, chats. You will prepare uh, your <clears throat> speech uh, uh, as the people that I'm, uh, I've wrote you. So, uh, Nora Lee, you are. Yeah. So, I've wrote all of you, uh, your roles, uh, who you are. So, as these persons, you have a one minute or less. So, it's up to you to convince the others to give you the parachute. So while, uh, while I will uh, introduce the audience, uh, the next topic, uh, you have uh, the one 
Uh, you have two minutes to prepare. So now it's uh, 6.29. You have time to 32, two and a half minutes. So if you're ready, then you can... Uh, Yes, Chazink, you are right. So you are you must survive because you are very important. You will, I don't know, do whatever you, you can do according to your uh, roles that I gave you. Uh, so uh while the people are uh, the volunteers are getting ready. Uh others, so uh you can use this uh use uh this uh game, this activity for your students. You can invite uh, up to six of your students, uh, write the roles to them and uh, explain that we are all in a plane and uh, the plane has only one parachute left and there are a lot of people here and you have to give that one parachute to the one who is very important. So you will introduce the students should feel the uh, atmosphere that it's very important to win that parachute. If they not, they will die. And you will give them two minutes to prepare. So two minutes preparation time. And after that, they have up to one minute to perform their speech in front of the others. If they convince the others, they will win the parachute and they will survive, okay? So this is an action uh, that we uh, can use to engage our students, uh, to introduce them what is debate, and then we can give them the feedback. So this is very uh, interesting game. Uh, at the starting point in debates, this is the first game that every training uh, of debates will start with. Uh, so I guess our volunteers have one more minute uh, and then we can uh, start to listen to them and uh, convince them. So here, what are they saying? Okay. So uh, the time is over. If you are ready, guys, so let me know. Um, you can uh, turn off your mic and uh, speak. Uh, should we unmute them? Uh, yes, uh, so if you can, so please unmute them. This we have to speak. Okay, then I'll go first. My name is Sitora. Uh, okay. And, uh, well, I have scheduled a charity concert and thousand people are waiting for me because they have purchased all their tickets. All the tickets are sold and all the funding after the concert will go to the kids with disabilities, with severe disabilities and serious illnesses. So I really need to be going down and landing safely. Um, and because I have a very important mission to accomplish. I have a very important task. I need to sing and people are waiting for me. I will save hundreds of kids' lives, especially with those that need, uh, uh, especially those who have like heart disease problems and they uh, are scheduled uh, uh, for their doctor appointments and they're expecting like millions of millions of dollars to be transferred to their funds. Thank you. And I hope that we will all save children's uh, health and protect our children. Okay, good. Thank you very much. So uh, as you heard, so Sitora uh, Kasima was the singer in our uh, game. So uh, the singer, she organized the charity concert and all the uh, money will go to disabled kids. So uh, this is why she, uh, she have to uh, land safely and provide this concert. So let's listen to the second speaker. Uh, we have here Chising and Nurali. He wa Nurali, who wants to go Second. 
I can go if you don't mind. Um, yes, okay, Nurali. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, hi, I'm Nurali. As the first speaker said, uh, he was she, uh, sorry, she was a singer. She talked about uh, like protecting uh, children and uh, blah, blah, blah. I believe that singers cannot uh, help, cannot protect children. So without singers, uh, we can leave, we can leave uh, safely. So we don't need singers actually. So there are other important things that we need in our life. As my role is pl plumber, uh, if you don't know the meaning of plumber, it means some technique. Uh, and uh, you need some technique uh, for your, when you uh, have problems in your kitchen. Um, so you mainly use it, uh, you, you mainly need a uh, plumber in your kitchen and uh, in, your, in your bathroom. So if you have uh, problems with the pipes that uh, the water can't go through the pipes and you you don't have water, so you you only need uh, you only need plumber. So I believe I I play an important role. Uh, so in in the lives. Help Thank you me. very much, Nurali. Your time is over. So at the debate, Nurali, you know that you have only one time. And uh, yes, so Nurali was a plumber. And his importance is that we need them in our kitchen with our own problems. So let's listen uh, to Chiding, uh, and then you guys can uh, give the parachute to one of them. So Chiding, if you are ready, you can start. If you can speak, of course. Uh, I think the chat uh, chasing uh, wrote his arguments here. Uh, I guess he can't uh, speak. So he says that I need to educate the future generations that will create a safer world for whole population. The second one, I'm the one who current guarantees you that your children will have a better life than you. So he says to the all audience uh, of airplane, that uh, he's a teacher, Chiding is a teacher, and says that uh, he can guarantee that you children will have a better life than you if you give him a parachute. And he needs to educate the other generation that we have. Uh, okay, so uh, now it's time uh, to you guys uh, to give the parachute to the best men or women deserve this parachute. We have a plumber, we have a singer, and we have a teacher. So uh, write your options in the chat uh, by writing one, two, and three. So the first speaker was Sitoraka Simu as the singer. The second one was the Nurali uh, as the plumber. And the third one was Chai Sing as the teacher. Right, your option. Uh, okay, so uh, we have here uh, two voices. Yep, two voices to Sitora. So I guess uh, uh, Pina Siva says Nurali or first one. Yep, uh, Sitora. The third voice goes to Sitora. Also, I see a lot of participants here, so uh, you can work four Sitora, five Sitora. Yeah, so uh, thank you guys. So now, yeah. So uh, now we are winning that the only uh, Sitora Kasima will survive. Yeah, so Sanjit Kumar uh, also votes for Sitora. Congratulations Sitora Kasima for winning the parachute. So yes, you were really convincing. Uh, you were uh, very convinced the others that uh, you have a very important role. So this is good. So guys, uh, as the teachers uh, who want to engage your uh, students through this way, the parachute game is very, very important and it's very engaging. So as you saw, so the students will try to uh, convince that they're very important, they will say, Emotionalists, they will uh, rebuttal each other like Nurali did. So the singers are not important, but plumbers are important. So the students will use the vocabulary that they all ha uh, already have. 
and they will convince. So uh, day by day, day by day, they will improve their speaking. So this is the first uh, games that we uh, can use in our classroom. So the second one uh, is the mini pair debates. So mini pair debates in the classroom is that you can divide your classroom into two, two groups. For example, in access groups, we uh, have 12 students or so. So you can uh, say that six of the students, half of the students is the A students, affirmative, and the B, the other side is the B students. And you give them the topic. Uh, you have a topic uh, on the blackboard and you will say that all A students will be for these topics. So they will say that the Ducks are better than the cats as a pet. And the all B students will disagree with the topic. So you will not choose here by their beliefs. You can choose them uh, as you want. It says that the cats are better. So they will disagree with the topic. And they will not stand. They will sit in their places uh, and say uh, they will debate with each other. There will be a noise, a very uh, noise between the students. Uh, you will go around as a teacher and listen who is speaking and who is not speaking. So uh, you will give, of course, you will give the first speech to the A students and you will listen to A students. So there are six or more students should talk. And then uh, you will say that your time is over and then students B will start their speech. So when the students B will finish, so you can ask individually or generally, uh, did they change their mind or not? So uh, what is their beliefs? Because when we debate, we can uh, understand the point of view of our opponent. We can uh, be more unsure in our point or we can uh, start to think that uh, I'm not right here because if uh, he performs a very good uh, speech. So this is a second option that you can use. Here also, uh, if your students are too shy, they can uh, practice with their uh, mates right in front of them, right in the uh, right side of the website. So here they can start speaking, but not yet in front of the others. So this is a, one of the first steps that you can uh, use, uh, start to uh, give your students uh, a chance to speak. So the, the next activity that you can use uh, in the classroom uh, to practice a debate and practice is speaking is a one plus. The one plus uh, is saying that uh, you will share a topic again on the blackboard. Like uh, today we will mostly talk about the dogs and cats. Uh, dogs are better pets than uh, cats. Then you will ask a student, the first student in front of you to say one argument for the resolution for the topic. So he is agree. And the next student, the other student should disagree with his opinion or her opinion. Then the third student should be disagree with the second one. So you will play around. So uh, each student will go and go and go until the end, until the end. Every student should be one of them agree, one of them disagree, agree, disagree, agree, disagree. So all of them, uh, will have a chance to speak, but here you don't have a time limit. So uh, of course they cannot speak for five minutes, but you can say that you can share your ideas with three sentences. Tell us why you agree or why you disagree with the decision from the previous speaker. So here again, your students will uh, think in English, will start uh, first, they will start to listen to the previous speaker because they have to answer them. They have to disagree with them. And then they will speak. So it improves both speaking and uh, both listening. And uh, the next and the last uh, debate activity that you can use uh, in your classroom uh, is the school debate format. School debate format is more officially 
uh, its place in America and India and other schools in worldwide. Uh, so you can divide the classroom into A students and B students, B students. All A students support the topic. Again, your topic is in the uh, blackboard. Uh, you will divide the classroom into two. So A students and the B students. And the A students will support the topic. B students will rebuttal the topic. And they have two speeches. Each of the students will have two speeches. So they will speak, the student A will speak, the student B will speak. Then the student A will speak again, answer him, and then he will answer him. So they will have a chance to rebuttal, to uh, sort, uh, think uh, more, one more to find their weaknesses and have a chance to rebuttal and recover their arguments. The school debate is uh, a little bit, a little bit, harder to play because not all of your students wish to play, but when you provide these kind of activities with your students, uh, the previous activities uh, that we talked about, the A plus, uh, and mini period debate or parachute game, your students will be encouraged, encouraged to uh, talk. So, uh, yeah. So this is it uh, and uh, as I said before, uh, I invited my students uh, after they performed the speech uh, in the classroom, they did a good job. Uh, I chose uh, five of them and invited them to our debate tournaments, debate uh, clubs, beside classroom, which was, they found it very useful. And they become very good is that you see there are my students here all of them and here is the uh, uh, access students she's also an access student and they're also uh, one of our access students who is performing in front of the other uh, students in other schools so this is it thank you for your attention uh, and help and play during the uh, this session and uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm ready to answer to all of your questions regarding it. Thank you very much, Sadi, for such a nice and step-by-step -step presentation of how to use debate in the classroom. I believe uh, everyone, including me, enjoyed the uh, session because uh, it was really engaging, actually. Uh, we were all uh, kind of... Uh, uh, waiting for the uh, debate uh, of the three people that <laughs> you know that you have uh, uh, selected and uh, thank you very much uh, I, I'm really glad that you mentioned really important points about the debate like you mentioned that it's not only about gaining like knowledge general knowledge about certain topic but it's also preparing students uh, being confident and uh, being good public speakers in the future this is very important, and I believe we need to, uh, you know, to give this rationale behind, you know, debate because debate develops so many skills in uh, our students, right? And uh, I also uh, find the, uh, I mean, there was a saying or uh, there was a note that I also noted that for myself, like it's like a paradox, like using soft words and hard arguments. Kind of yeah. soft and hard are uh, kind of their antonyms, but again, you use soft words and hard arguments. Very interesting. Um, Thank you. My question uh, actually for you is, uh, as, a, as a teacher with so many years of, uh, you know, uh, doing debates with your students, uh, when do you think we should start, you know, already at schools? I mean, uh, when should we start the teaching like debate? Uh, in our classes. Uh, thank you uh, for your question. So this is very interesting question. So mostly teachers ask these questions. Uh, so uh, you can start uh, when you think that your students are already, uh, how to say, uh, they know uh, enough vocabularies to speak because you can start the debate right uh, after two or three months of your, your activities if you accept totally new uh, uh, beginners, 
So uh, you can use debate uh, at least at elementary level. At elementary level, uh, they can easily uh, speak uh, as five or 10 sentences. And you can choose the emotions uh, that I've so, uh, I talked about the value, uh, the values, opinion of value, so they, their beliefs. What do they believe? If they agree by their naturally or they're not agree. So this is uh, the easiest level of debate where they can say that I'm not agree because of this, this and this one. And I, he's not right because of this one and this one and this one. So in debates, your students uh, should be able to speak two sentences. I am not agree in why, and he or she is not right and why. So if they can answer these two questions, they can be a good debater. So you can start with this one. So with the opinion of value, and at least you, uh, your students are elementary leader. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sadi. Some of our participants have joined later and you might have already covered that, but we have a question from our Facebook followers who is saying that, what is the difference between uh, uh, discussion and debate? Uh, yeah, uh, so thank you. Uh, this is also a good question. So the difference between the discussion and the debate is that uh, in discussion, uh, they have no rules. The ones who has a louder voice, the ones who have the muscles, they can speak uh, for the whole time. Uh, the ones who have more uh, courage, more public skills, uh, skills, they will speak. And the others who are a little shy, who has lower voice, who are the first uh, come to this meeting, they will not speak, they will shy. So this is a difference between the, uh, this is a discussion. But in debate, they have the specific rules, they have the specific time for each speaker, and everyone should speak. So no matter you are the first comer, you, no matter you have a loud voice, you have a muscles, you have a brain. So you only have one minute and your opponent on, uh, also have one minute. So you, your rights and your chances are equal. Everyone can speak and everyone can argument. So this is a difference between the debate and the discussion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so here is uh, then another question like, uh, how is it feasible to use uh, debate in the like large uh, cl I know, uh, classes, like with the students like 16 or 20 and more students? Yes. So uh, also the activities that I've shared with you, uh, the one plus, the one plus activity is very useful. So you can uh, write the motion uh, on the blackboard and you will choose the student uh, it would be great if you choose them randomly, because if you start with one side, the other side will be bored to listen. So if you choose randomly, uh, most uh, all of them will listen to the speaker and they will say that uh, I will be the next one. So that you will choose the speaker and uh, ask him or her to say the argument, two or three sentences for the argument. Then you can uh, choose the next student to uh, propose him, to rebuttal him or her. So you can uh, go around till the end of the class uh, until the everyone had speak. And uh, don't let uh, the ones, the most active students to speak more and don't, the shy, don't let the shy students to speak less. Give them the specific time. For example, if it is 20 seconds even, uh, ask them to speak 20 seconds, not more. Because if they speak more, there will be more arguments, their speech will be more confident and they will shy again. So they have to be equal during the debate. This is the most important in debate. Everyone should be equal rights, have equal rights. The A plus activity can be useful for your uh, large classes also. And parachute also, you can choose uh, three times by six speakers. You can change the roles and they will play. The, the second and the third game uh, will be very important, uh, will be very engaging because they will hear the previous arguments and they will improve them. They will make them better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We have a question from Mehri. She's saying we have a student in classroom, but not all of them are good at English. So when we're using debate only, uh, the activity, uh, the active students are talking. And what should we do with the students who are quiet and shy to talk? 
Uh, thank you, Vehri. <clears throat> so uh, I had this kind of problem when I started. Uh, uh, here, you can choose the speakers randomly, not by their beliefs, but you can choose them by yourself. So you pretend that you are choosing them randomly, but you have to pick uh, one inactive student and uh, one active student and put them together. In this case, they will help each other because say uh, they are now a team and they want to uh, win. And most of the time when I uh, did this one, so inactive and active students put together, inactive students will be very careful listening to his partner because he or she believes that he has a good argument and he will write, he will listen and write the arguments, what he or she is saying, the partner is saying, and then he starts and performs it. So the first uh, inactive students go first, and then the stronger one will come next and recovers him or her. So you can, uh, you can pretend that you're choosing uh, randomly, but you have to pick the inactive and active students at once. Or uh, if this is a one-on-one -on -one debate, you can choose only two speakers, choose the two inactive students and ask them to speak and give them a 20 second speech. Let them speak from their seats. Uh, the main thing is that they have to speak. Uh, I know that most of the time our inactive students, their problem is they're shy. And debates help them to, to earn more confidence. And because of uh, this is a game, Everyone wants to win. And if they uh, will be encouraged with this ones, they will try their best to speak. So choose mostly uh, inactive students to, uh, to go first. Then you can uh, back up uh, your active students, Mehdi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sadi, for all the answers that you've provided. I hope uh, the participants will uh, use the same uh, kind of methods and the uh, you know, the uh, format that you have shared, they will be using that too. And uh, we uh, thank uh, all the participants and we thank Sitora and Nurali and Chasing Liberty for participating in our today's tournament with uh, Saadi. And uh, we promise a present for the winner, Sitora from English Without Borders. <laughs> um, so uh, thank you again, uh, Saadi, for agreeing to uh, uh, provide this interesting and engaging presentation for our uh, English teachers across Tajikistan. We really appreciate that. And uh, yes, uh, Saadi is sharing the links of uh, the for the video, right? For the yes. debate, wow. yes, that you can later watch. Uh, thank you, Saadi. We hope that we will... Uh, have more like webinars with you in the future. And uh, dear participants on Facebook and on the Zoom, thank you for joining us today. Uh, stay tuned, uh, tuned on the social media of English Without Borders. Thank you very much and see you all uh, next Thursday. Yes, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you.